there's just not enough African-American women doing it, and not because we aren't doing it, but because we just don't get a lot of opportunities. A new film co-op is giving women of color a chance to sit in the director's chair. It's a rare opportunity that's now helping redefine the role in film production. This morning, I take us behind the scenes of this project, making Northeast Ohio a better land. Lights, camera, adversity. There's just sort of this this preset idea of what a director should or should not be. And Michael Oatman tells me African-American females don't typically fall into that director category. There needs to be someone who at least opens the door to say, hey, if you want to try, you can. Oatman's handmade films. This is no Hollywood studio operation. Giving women of color the chance to tap into their creativity. Black women are natural directors. By calling the shots behind the camera. African American women don't have that opportunity majority of the time. Paula Washington. I've always wanted to do film. Got the first crack at creating a movie through the co-op. We just pulled people together and it just happened. It was like magic. Washington's name now listed in the credits of her debut film, Whirlwind. Afterwards, you're like, you're standing there and you're like, I did that. I told my story. I saw a vision in my mind in my heart, and I put it on film, and now everyone can see what I had. Here we go. India Burton following in Washington's footsteps. I'm really excited about it, and I'm hoping that it'll open some doors for me. We caught up with Burton while on the set of her new film. I don't know what that question is. I think that you should come up with that question and keep it a secret. Burton, hoping her time in the director's chair, instills confidence in those coming up behind her. If someone sees me doing it or another black woman doing it, then, you know, they know that they can do it. While this level of visibility in the industry is important, Oatman tells me quality is just as imperative. Because if we do all this stuff, hey, we're directing black, we're training black filmmakers who are African-American females, and it's crap, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Nobody wants to see the next film. So far, Handmade Films has beaten the odds. I was told by everybody that this couldn't work. Going to great lengths to get four short films produced. Who can we beg, borrow, or steal from? Oatman also turning to the community for funding. We made our goal in, I don't know, three or four days. Raising more than $6,200 to continue making movies. The donor list looks like America. You know, it's just this list of different people who all said, we believe in this, here's our money, boom. And we were just blown away by that. It's no secret the arts and culture scene here in Northeast Ohio is rich, but is it as diverse as it is bountiful? That's it, that's the question. That's the question, can everybody play in that playground? And we're hoping to be just one little drop in the ocean that says, well, you can play here.